Good morning. Pastor Sean here on Thursday, May 20th, with your morning prayer. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. O come, let us worship him. Our text for today is John 5, verses 30 through 47. I can do nothing on my own. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will, but the will of him who sent me. If I alone bear witness about myself, my testimony is not deemed true. There is another who bears witness about me, and I know that the testimony that he bears about me is true. You sent to John, and he has borne witness to the truth. Not that the testimony that I receive is from man, but I say these things so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and you were willing to rejoice for a while in his light. But the testimony that I have is greater than that of John. For the works that the Father has given me to accomplish, the very works that I am doing, bear witness about me that the Father has sent me. And the Father who sent me has himself borne witness about me. His voice you have never heard, his form you have never seen. And you do not have his word abiding in you, for you do not believe the one whom he sent. You search the scriptures because you think that in them you have eternal life, and yet it is they that bear witness about me. Yet you refuse to come to me that you may have life. I do not receive glory from people, but I know that you do not have the love of God within you. I have come in my Father's name, and you do not receive me. If another comes in his own name, you will receive him. How can you believe when you receive glory from one another, and do not seek the glory that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one who accuses you, Moses, on whom you have set your hope. If you believe Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote of me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? Many and various ways God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days he's spoken to us by his son. <sighs> Boy, there's it's pretty a dense passage here. Um, but you know, the, the thing that, for me, jumps out is... Um, Verse 44, how can you believe when you receive glory from one another and do not seek the glory that comes from the only God? And I think part of why that jumps out at me is because especially with, um, well, with with a teenage daughter in the house, well, one teenager, full-blown teenager at 15 years old, and then another up-and-coming uh, at 12 years old, um, you know, I, I've begun to, not, well, I've been... No, taking notice of, but I mean, it's just even more, more and more clear to me, just all the various things that, that, um, that are out there, um, online, in the media, whatever, that are kind of battling for, uh, Caitlin's attention right now as, as a teenager. And, um, so much of, of what I see out there is, um, kind of what, what Jesus talks about here, where, where, um, that we we want to receive glory from one another. That um, so much uh, everything that goes on online is um, you know, but in so with social social media is seeking the glory from other people, seeking um, praise and um, attention from other people, and wanting to be lifted up in other people's eyes. And um, you know, it, it's just this whole kind of. Um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to teach and guide this this um, you know this uh, growing young woman here, uh, and then trying to to lead her and, and show her you know which with which things are good, which things are bad, to notice these things, and it's just so so very clear how there's this intense um, focus on you know the, this sort of positivity idea, you know, body positivity or whatever positivity, and it's you know. Um, 
not being afraid to just put it out there and, and whatever, and this is all for you. And it's just the, the, the ones who are kind of the, the biggest proponents of, of this thing, especially on social media, is, um, you know, and, and the, the, the chorus is that, you know, you, you, if this is all um, you doing this for you and putting it out there and, and, and to, be, to be happy with whatever and, and yada, yada, yada. And it's just, it's, it's funny to me because the fact that you're putting this all on social media, the purpose of which is to get other people to basically give you accolades for it, to, to, um, to give you praise for it. And so it, the, the message is just like, it's, it's, you, you're supposed to be, you know, don't, don't worry about anyone, what anyone else, what anyone else says. You have to find this, you know, be, be happy with yourself, however you are and however you look, whatever. And it, it can't come from any external validation. And yet it's being placed in a medium that is just steeped in getting external validation. <laughs> and to me, it's just, it's the obvious contradiction there. Um, but for, you know, a teenage girl, she doesn't, you know, see it, see it that way, and so I have to kind of show it to her. And when I tell her about this, and I, we we kind of point out these things, her eyes just kind of open up, and um, it's just kind of reinforces this idea that you know we so often the things that we do, the things that we say, and the, the way we pursue things is for our own glory, to receive glory from other people. Um, you know, even. Yeah, I, these morning prayer videos. I mean, I don't know. I honestly, I, I don't really check to see how many people watch these things, who watches them. I get an idea from Facebook just by the people who who press like on it, but it's not really a big um, focus of mine uh, of the results of it. But you know, there there is a certain kind of thing where you know I see like, oh, this video did really well. Oh, a lot of people like it, and it, it does this. You know, it just appeals into this little part inside where it says, wow. You're, you're, you're popular, you're important, people, yeah, yeah, people like what, and, you know, granted, it's, God willing, it's, it's not because of me, it's because of the message, but still, it, 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 it feeds this little thing inside that craves glory, that wants praise and acknowledgement and pointing to me and lifting me up, puffing me up. And uh, Jesus kind of points out, he says, um, how can you believe when you receive glory from one another and do not seek the glory that comes from the only God? Um, and, you know, it's just a, kind of a reminder to us that, you know, we do not seek our own glory. The things that we do are not for our glory. We don't seek our own. We seek glory that comes from, from God, that comes from Jesus Christ. It's just that the difficult thing is, what does his glory look like? You know, his glory looks like sacrifice, giving up things, <laughs> humility, placing others first, emptying ourselves out, lowering ourselves, pushing ourselves completely out of the picture, denying ourselves, being at odds with the, the popular culture around us. I mean, these are the things that, that we see Jesus, you know, his glory, being lifted up on a cross, dying, that is his glory, and that is the glory that we seek. Um, and so you, you can see how diametrically opposed it is to our instinctual sinful nature to seek our own glory, to seek glory that uh, points to us versus the glory that only points to Christ. Um, and uh, you know, this isn't a, necessarily a, a message of me saying, you know, you need to Make sure you're pursuing God's glory. Um, I mean, we, we should always be wary of that. But um, if anything, this would be a good um, encouragement to take notice, to really see what's going on around you, locally, uh, culturally, socially, whatever, um, to see just the ways that we are conditioned to seek our own glory, and, and how our culture just really pushes that. Um, and I think it'd be quite, I mean, you might have an idea of, of how ingrained it is, but I think you'd be really surprised just how um, it's just all over the place. And so if, if ever there is a time where we need to remember to, you know, repent, turn to God, to say, Lord, have mercy, and, um, you know, give me eyes that see you, uh, that focus on you. Um, yeah, well, every day is a good time of day for that. But, um, yeah, that's, you know, we seek our own glory when we be, should be seeking the glory that comes from the uh, the only God, Jesus Christ. So, pretty, pretty deep stuff today. All right, well, let us pray. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, 
You have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, and neither run into any kind of danger, but that all of our doings, being ordered by your governance, may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now taught by our Lord and trusting his promises, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. hope this is a good start to your day and uh, that uh, the peace of God goes, goes with you uh, all the way, wherever you go today. So, peace be with you.